Hi guys, this is Kira. I'm working on my burst coin mining rig again today. And uh, I just got a delivery. Um, this is from Amazon. This is a wonderful package. Um, there should be a new power supply unit here that I'm going to use to power the external hard drives. So let's open this up. Okay. Whoa. Hey, oh. Hey, hey. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. This is a power supply unit. Oh my gosh. And it smells like uh, a factory. <laughs> it smells like a machine shop. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this one piece at a time. They gave me some mounting screws. Um, looks like there's four or five extra fuses in here. And they've got keys. So I can protect my power. I'm going to lock it up and I'm going to put it away. And no one's going to ever take my power again. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, model ADSI2300AA. Power supply. Uh, some input, 110, output 12 volts, 30 amps. That's awesome. So, I'll give you guys a close up. There's a sticker. Uh, it's a pretty beastly unit. Um, and you guys got a really good shot of all of those fuses. Look at those fuses. There's so many fuses. And it's got a switch here for power on, power off. And there is no switch on the outside, which is kind of sad, but uh, that's okay because the hard drives will not be powered uh, if the computer is not on. Um, also, if you look closely here, um, these are all individually controlled, which is really nice. But um, there are little LEDs on each of these um, each of these circuits, so I'm pretty happy about that. And <clears throat> these little green things right here. Um, I should be able to just unscrew them, plug the wires in, screw them back down, and we're good to go. So the question here is, um, is, I think the size is good. I think the question here is, will the pigtails that I'm going to plug in through here, like there's little holes here, they're going to go through to here. Is that going to be long enough to reach the hard drive units um, while making it so that I can keep this unit uh, kind of out of the way? So we'll see what happens. All set up here to uh, begin. Uh, I've got the new PSU. I've got a uh, Porsche design. This is a Lacey drive. Uh, I'm actually going to be returning this uh, this weekend. But <clears throat> they're good drives. They're just expensive. They're not worth it. Um, so I've got. And I've also got the power cables that I made previously. Um, these, this one didn't melt, this one didn't melt, but this one melted. Oh, look at that, it's lovely. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's take them apart. So, uh, I'm not going to lose too much of the cable here just by cutting it, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and let's just do a test here and see if we can power this unit on with this power supply. And we'll get an idea of the noise that it might make. And uh, those sorts of things. So, oh, can I cut this wire? Where is my, where's my thing? Okay. All right, so I got a wire here. Um, I think the most important thing is gonna be plugging the ground into the ground and the red thing into the red thing. So uh, let's not make that mistake. Uh, I'm just gonna strip this wire here. And, uh, hey, that was easy. Is it just me or I'm getting good at this? Okay. And we'll twist this up and let's plug this in. So uh, I got this weird black thing here that I think I'm supposed to poke things through, but there's no holes in it, so it's kind of weird. It's this weird diaphragm. Um, I don't know. 
Let's see. Um, can I just like shove it through? Oh, I can. Hey, cool. Okay. <laughs> and let's get this through without damaging this. Yeah. And since I put it, there's three holes here. And <clears throat> I know that this, this length of the cable actually isn't super long. And so I want to preserve as much of the length as possible. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this all the way over here on the side. And it looks like I'm going to have to remove this. So I got some room to work now. Let's uh, push this through this weird rubber thing. And, yep. Okay. And so you wire this properly. Hopefully. Screw this down. You know, after I purchased this uh, power supply unit, I was like, you know what? I bet I'd be really good at wiring this. I should go into the surveillance business. Because that's what this is for. Um, these cables here and uh, the power supply unit are both designed for surveillance cameras. So I can see that I might need to cut those cables, but I think this might be good enough for a test. So. Okay, all right. That was successful. This is kind of stressful. Wow, you guys see those lights? And hey, the uh, the uh, lid even has a light too. Can you guys see it? It's, it's pretty green. <laughs> uh, let me turn off the light here and you guys can see. Ah, yeah, you see that light? Ah, it's so shiny. Look at this. All of those pretty lights. It's awesome. I, I almost feel like this would look pretty cool without the cover on, but I know that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> so let's turn the light on here. Let's, let's see if we can do this. All right, so here's our unit. And um, let's plug in the power. Oh, right, I need an adapter. So uh, the pigtails that come with the surveillance cameras, uh, these units, they're all 5.5 uh, millimeter outer, and the inner diameter is 2.1. And 2.1 is too small for most of the externals that I found. So I uh, have purchased these adapters to uh, up it to a 5.5 outer and a 2.5 inner. And that does the trick pretty good. So here we go. And uh, of course, these units won't power up until I plug them into a computer. So let's see. All right, and I have my handy dandy MacBook here. And if you guys are ever curious, uh, my MacBook allows me to remote into my Windows computer, and that's how I do my recording. Okay, moment of truth. Hey, hey, we're alive. We are alive. quite the experience uh had a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning as you guys probably saw um i had to uh, make sure that the pins were all the way down so that when the screw when you screwed it back in it lifted lifted the wire up into the top of these uh units so after i figured that out that out it was pretty easy um and i polished this off so 
Also, you guys probably noticed that I only did 16. This is an 18, 18 one box, but I only did 16 because I think uh, I'm trying to be very careful with the amount of amperage that I'm pulling when the drives start. And I want to make sure that I'm within a safe bound. So uh, if you take the amperage from the back of the DC uh, transformers for each of the drives, it says 1.5 amps at 12 volts. Uh, this is a 30 amp box. Uh, so if you divide it out, you would say safely 15. I think I can get away with 16. And there are fuses here, so I think I'm okay. Um, but I'll let you know if there's any problems with that. So when I was sizing up the rack and determining how exactly I want to organize it, I realized that my original plan of putting the power supply underneath the hard drive rack uh, wasn't going to work because it's a little too long actually. Um, so I have made up another plan. Uh, I took the lower rack and I moved it up and uh, I want to put the power supplies on here. Uh, so there'll be one here and there'll be one over here. And uh, this will allow me to power 32 drives from this rack. Um, the only thing is, is I'm going to have to buy another rack kit so that I get one more, um, one more row of drives and I can put them below the power supply unit. Um, because of the length of the USB cables, I might actually have to shift the rows up, but you know, I'll save that for later. Um, but as far as the power cable length and everything, I think it'll be just fine. Fortunately, I only have enough of these 5.5mm uh, outer, 2.5mm inner uh, adapters from the pigtails, which are 55 by 2.1 uh, So they're a little too small. So I got these off of Amazon uh, and I have more on the way from eBay. But I don't have enough to do both sides of the rig. So for today, I'm just going to do one side of the rig and show you guys how I've set it up. Okay? So uh, let's go ahead and make sure we've got all of our drives. Um, I'll just do a quick count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 2 more. Yes, okay, all of our drives are online. Um, let's go ahead and start Jminer and make sure that things are still workable. Oh, looks good. So, I think that was a success. I guess we'll find out in time. So, well that was fun. It took me a few hours, but things are up and running again. And everything seems to be okay. Uh, I mean, famous last words. Last time I, I was thinking that uh, my power cables melted. But, uh, you know, this time I think it's a lot better. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, shows me that you like my videos and uh, if you'd like to see anything in particular, you know, let me know. Uh, I'll also put the uh, link in the description for this particular power supply unit. It's uh, an 18 slot or whatever you want to call it, 30 amp, 12 volt DC uh, surveillance camera power supply. Uh, and I think it works pretty good for burst coin mining too. So anyways, catch you later guys.